Hi everyone, I thought today I'd just talk a little bit about um, colouring materials that I would recommend for anyone who is a beginner to colouring. Now to start with, I would recommend a nice good colouring book. Now I love Johanna Basford. I only colour in her books and for several reasons. Firstly the artwork. I love the artwork and the pictures so obviously it's really important to find a book with pictures in that you are going to want to colour. But another reason is the paper. Now the paper in here, although the pictures are double sided, the paper is nice and thick, it's nice and smooth but it still takes quite a few layers of pencil. and. Um, the pens, if you use pens in them, it doesn't show through to the other side as long as you use a water-based marker, not an alcohol marker. So I rather like that as well. So that's my sort of reasoning for choosing this book. Obviously you might want to um, print off pictures. There are a lot of free pictures online you can print off as well. And I use De La Rowney um, Bristol board for, uh, for printing on. Now you can use photocopier paper, you know, normal copy paper. Um, but that is quite thin. It's good to start with to play around with but if you want something that takes more layers of pencil that's a little bit easier to, to colour on I tend to use the Bristol board. I haven't got one here to show you but I'll put it in the list in the description so you can have a look at it. So that's the book now for pencils. Now there are lots and lots and lots of different pencils and everyone loves different types but these are the ones I would recommend for use to start with. This is because they're a good price. They are um, there you can get them from supermarkets not necessarily in this 36 set you can get them in 12s 24s 36s but they're such good value for money because they blend well they they um you can get quite a lot of color if you press quite hard but you can layer them up nicely as well and there's quite a good range of color too and this is what i started with and uh, i still use them now after having been coloring for sort of seven years or something i still go back to them um, and they keep a nice sharp point too so that's good but they're still soft enough to blend now what i like to use together with the pencil so i'll just move these away is a white pen. Now I've got these to I'll hold it a bit closer. This is my um, oops, sorry jelly roll which is Sakura jelly roll number eight. It's not going to focus. There we go for you. So that's a nice one or some people like the um, Posca paint pens. Now the Posca paint pens come with different size nibs. This is a bullet nib. I'll show you it's very fine which I like but you can also get a bigger one. I've got a bigger one here I can show you which is uh, more of a rounded tip so you can choose different ones but I like the white just because you can do little details shining enhance sort of different things so I just find they're a great addition to a sort of basic set and pencil sharpeners people always ask about this is a a Stedler Norris Club pencil sharpener which is a triangular shape it's specifically designed to deal with the triangular pencils which the Ergosoft are and when I asked Stedler which one which sharpener to use this was the one they recommend and it does work really well it doesn't eat up the pencil so it's great so I like those you just make sure that when they get blunt you replace them I use the little hole you see there's two holes sorry I turn it around so you can see I always use the little one and then when that starts to get blunt I swap the um, swap the blades over from the big one to the little one so I get twice as much use out of the sharpener it also has a flap which goes over mine's missing because I lost it to, so you can it's portable and the bits don't come out through the holes now last thing is erasers now this is a lovely one. I've used these since I was a child. They're really good if you want to do a big area of rubbing out. They're really nice but just make sure you keep it clean. Mine's rather dirty. But if you want little details then this one is really great. This is a Tombow Mono. I'm trying to get it to focus. It doesn't want to focus today. Tombow Mono Eraser. It's Mono Zero. I'll put a link to it in the, um, in the description anyway. Now it pops out. I don't know if you can see, it pops out with a clicker on the bottom. So I click the bottom and it pops out the eraser and then you can just push it back in like you do with a clicky or mechanical pencil. 
pop it back in again and you can get replacement um, erasers for it um, I find it's good because it's so fine and small on the end so you can um, so you can use it for all sorts of little tiny areas and details the only thing with rubbing out colored pencil is that if you've laid it down really thick pushed down into the paper or you're using a very dark color it doesn't always erase so this can these can work but they're not always perfect now that is it that is all I would start with now that is how I started in fact I didn't even have white pens to start with and then I slowly built up to other sets of pencils now one last tip is if you're buying pencils let's say everyone's talking about these uh, um, polychromos for example the Faber Castell they're rather nice pencils don't go out and buy a huge tin even a 12 or a 24 to start with find somewhere that sells them singly open stock people call it so you can just buy one try it out and see if you like it first because there's a lot of money to be spent on pencils some are three pounds each some are one pound twenty each some are much cheaper and you want to make sure you're getting good value for money so thanks for that i hope that helped you and uh, happy coloring